Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the new DanaShot 35A BLLES 4-in-1 ESC from AGLRC. In this video I'm going to quickly go over specifications and features and soon I'm going to feature it on a build video. Inside the box we can find a set of stickers, the connection diagram, M3 standoffs and plastic screws, an 8-pin to an 8-pin connector, the ESC, a high-quality XT60 battery connector, a 1000 microfarad 35 volts capacitor and 14 AWG battery wires. The Dynashot 35 ampere 4 in 1 ESC is running BLLES firmware and the supported LiPo batteries are between 3 to 6 cells. On the sides of the ESC, you can find pretty big pads for the motors, and over here, the pads for the battery, which are also pretty big and they are pretty far from each other, which is great. Over here we can find an 8 pins connector which is going to enable you to connect this 4-in-1 ESC to a flight controller. The right pin is the battery plus, then the ground, signal 1, 2, 3 and 4, ground and finally the current. Now since probably the flight controller you are going to use this 4-in-1 ESC with is not going to have the same wiring diagram, you will have to remap the 8 pins connector and I highly recommend before powering everything up, make sure that everything is properly connected, otherwise you are risking frying your flight controller. In terms of dimensions, the measurements of this 4-in-1 ESC are about 42.7 by 51.7 by 6.1 millimeters. The distance between the mounting holes is the standard 30.5 by 30.5 millimeters and it weighs 15.43 grams. So it is a little bit lighter than the T-Motor F55A Pro which weighs 17.63 grams and heavier than the DynaShot 60A 4-in-1 ESC from AGRC as well which weighs 12.75 grams. Here you can see the DynaShot 60A next to the DynaShot 35A and as you can see the 60A version is noticeably smaller. The major differences between the two versions is that the 60A version is running BLL32 firmware. There is also of course a big difference in the current rating. The current rating for the 60A version is of course 60A per ESC with a maximum peak current of 70A and for the 35A version it is 35A per ESC with a top peak current of 45A. You can also see that the pads for the motors in the 35A version are bigger and easier to work with and also it uses much bigger resistors. The last difference which is pretty important is the price. The DynaShot 60A cost $69 whereas the DynaShot 35A cost $47 so $22 is a big difference. From what I can tell so far, the DynaShot 35A looks like a great option if you're in the market for a new 4-in-1 ESC and as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, soon I'm going to feature it in a build video and I'll be able to test it out. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this ESC, feel free to ask it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.